What's up everybody? So big day today. This is actually my first day in the Sterling Trader Pro platform. Uh, I got it set up. I'm still in that learning curve so I'm trying to figure a lot of this out as I go. But for the most part I think I got it set up and I'm going to show you what I have so far. Right off the bat, you know, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of very in-depth windows and, and things you can include. I'm just trying to set up my two screens at the moment because I don't know what you know, this is my first time, so like it's new to me. So I don't know what I want yet or what I'm what I need yet. I just spent the past let's say three or four hours just playing with it, setting up what I think I need, doing some research on these windows and trying out the uh the test stocks. So Nasdaq has a test stock and the Sterling Trader Pro has their own uh what is it, demo account. So I was using the demo account, checking out some buy sell values and how you do it manually and uh, yeah, I'll just give you a little rundown, but because I can't share both monitors, I'm going to show you with the camera. So here are the two monitor setups right now. Uh, my left monitor is going to be my one where I have like the 15 minute charts up and I'm just kind of looking at stocks with potential setups. And this is going to be my main screen where I have the stock that I'm looking at, the level two for that stock. I'll try to fix the lighting. The level two, the time and sales, and then this is the fundamental data I believe so uh, here we have the buy window on the level 2 this is my open orders window uh, I get the clock up top this is the I don't know how to describe this but the, this is something I don't think you can delete because you move it everything else moves so I was spending all morning trying to make this layout correct and save it so I could actually save this layout I save it as my laptop v1 dual m so a dual monitor but here i have all the open orders that uh are still in request and haven't been filled here's all of my orders whether they're filled canceled or uh is it all? yeah or rejected here i have my position summary which is just uh your overall posi uh, positions on the stocks you've taken today so i took these three stocks with the test the uh the test account and this is the trade summary, so your overall summary. And here's like a watch list. But uh, there's a lot more windows in here that are actually pretty useful that I just haven't got around to doing all my studies on all of these, because right now there's a lot. So once I get around to looking through all of these and finalizing my layout, uh, this would probably change a little bit. But for the most part, this is what I'm starting out with. It took me a couple hours to develop this, believe it or not. But uh, just Going into my charts, you can actually lock these charts so they're all associated. So I have all these yellow boxes. They're all linked. They're all merged. So if I change the ticker on this one, we'll go to uh, stock. They all change in correspondence. But these are just separate. Those are, you know, like I mentioned earlier, looking for potential setups. But just kind of give you the basic rundown of everything. And here's where I have my... Uh, Investors Underground lounge, the chats, both chat rooms, and more stuff that they provide on their website. So, kind of a cool introduction. I just spent all morning playing with it, and honestly, that's the, probably the best thing you do the, the first day you get it, is just learn it, you know, like experiment with it. Just like getting a new bike, you know, you want to take it out, go through all the gears, you know, bounce on it, jump it. See what kind of performance you get out of this, and see what this is all capable of doing. Kind of what I did here with all these practice orders. But uh, next I have to set up is hotkeys. So I'm going to see if I have these right windows, you know, if, if I like these later on or if I decide to change them. I'll kind of keep, keep you guys posted on that. But uh, so officially this week I'll be starting to keep stats on my simulation trades and look out for uh, any potential changes that need to be made or, you know. So yeah, just a quick little introduction to the platform itself. Uh, there's still a lot on here that I don't know, so I'm hopefully going to learn all this, you know, within the next couple days and within the next week. I'll be pretty familiar with it, but yeah, overall, just get a feel for it. Please like, comment. If you have any questions, subscribe. It really helps me out, motivates me to make more videos. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. I'm Dylan Silva. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all new content every week. You guys have a good one.